think um, this album is different because I didn't feel like I was searching for that song that would make me successful. Mm. I already accomplished that. And so the pressure was off. Um, I already had the fan base. And so I was lucky in, you know what I mean? I didn't have to think the way I did with the debut or what could, what could get, get me these fans? Okay, now you have them. So it was more just about what do I want to do? What do I think the last album was missing? And um, adding that to this record, just I feel like a lot of my like earlier mixtape type sounds, be it sonically or just in the, the flow patterns, a lot of that was missing from the debut because I was thinking so much about trying to make something work on the radio or trying to gain that big fan base. Mm -hmm. And um, so this time around, I didn't have to worry about any of that. I brought back a lot of the sounds from like Ignorant Art or I had another mixtape, Trap Gold, which was kind of had an electronic but trap, like still right. hip hop influence. So I experimented a lot with music and just kind of like threw it all to the wind. I really felt like everybody said all there is to say. Yeah. So what's the worst that could happen? It is right? It is. So I just do whatever I wanted on this one and I think it's good. I think it's more reflective of like who I am and as an as an artist and what people initially were excited about me that right. was kind of I think lost in translation on that first debut. So mm -hmm. I hope that people that um, were a fan of me originally that maybe weren't that into the new mm -hmm. classic or some of those songs will get more into this record and like this record more too. Right. So I and you you work with Juvenile, Wayne, and Manny Fresh on this album, right? Well, I didn't work with them, although they're on the writing credits. But that's because okay. I sampled. Uh, okay. Okay. I okay. sampled back that back that ass up. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say it with a D. Um, yeah. So I sampled that, and I just I like obviously like early 2000s Cash Money kind of era, yeah. and also like Master P and No Limit. Love like, it. Love it. Who doesn't love that? Yeah, I love that. I'm obviously bed. obsessed. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I wanted to take it back, but I didn't want to, like, I guess sampling, some people could say straight jacking, but to me it's better than an interpolation because it's giving that person their props. Right. And obviously it's a sample, and they're still earning off the record too. Right. Instead of just taking something similar and saying, well, you get nothing from this inspiration, and I'm getting everything in the record. So. Mm -hmm. We, I, I love so many of those records and obviously it's sampled in team and I didn't even know if he would be like, if he would approve it or what. So we hit up Manny Fresh and played the song and he was like, yeah, I really like it. Like I think it. it's dope. So that was a relief and we were able to keep it on team and I think it's a good situation. Everybody wins and gets a piece of the record and it lets a new group of people, especially people that listen to my music that maybe like more of a pop influence and maybe aren't necessarily super big rap fans, I think them hearing that and saying, oh, it's, it's a sample, cool, right, it's right. a way for them to just have like that segue into I think a classic period of rap and maybe they can become like big Juvie fans or like big Master P fans right, um, um, by hearing some of those samples on my records too, which is good for rap music as well. Absolutely, so going forward, what else could we expect other than the album? What can we expect? I don't Indian? know, I mean it's still so early on, I'm just seeing how this first single plays out um but in the last year as well you know i i really love like making my music videos and coming up with the concepts and things like that for them and a lot of people would say to me why don't you direct other people's music videos i'm not really interested in doing that but okay. i did um start thinking about developing television shows mm. um and coming up with concepts and things like that for that and i actually just sold my first game show nice. slash like social experiment nice. um, that's going to be on network television. So that's all happening and we're kind of like hashing out of that. So that's kind of in the cards as well. I don't want to like go the acting route or do anything like that, but there'll be some like cool game shows and uh, television shows. Modeling? Do you try modeling? Um, not really any modeling. Girl, I you try my hand all the pictures. Oh, thank you. I just find it so awkward. It's so hard to like, think of the pose uh -huh. and all that kind of thing. I don't know how those, I don't know, all the jumping around and stuff, I'm not, Yeah. I don't know, I love the way the pictures look in the end, but I don't think I'm like really cut out to be a pro at that, but mm -hmm. anything where you can like think of creative, cool, fresh ideas, I want to do that, so definitely doing some more developing of television shows and other entertainment other than music. Nice, alright, so that's all the questions for me, Cool. but I know 